All right, so I got all the black, the piano black trim polished around the windshield and that kind of thing as best I could. This top part has a lot of scratches in it because it's a Roadster and the top, which is right there, basically has to be jammed in the front to make it happen. So it's got a bunch of scratches on it. Anyway, you can see a lot of that right in there. Far too deep to remove. Um, however, there's a scratch right here on the paint, which I'm hoping you can see, but it goes, it starts here and it goes all the way down. It's pretty bad right here. It goes all the way down the quarter panel. Maybe you can see it, it is right there. Right here. It goes all the way down the quarter panel. So I'm gonna use just a four inch buff and shine orange pad on my Harbor Freight DA with some Evo all-in-one to remove it. So hang you right there. You will possibly be able to see. Yeah. Damn, that 
trash. Really it's a, but I, I can see now looking at it in this light that it's they've already somebody tried to remove it already and then just left it because it's silly to continue. Maybe. I mean, if you think it's a mistake, you go any further. No, I, I know that it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you this if you want and you take responsibility for it, I'll continue. If I don't have to p have it painted, if I fuck it up. <laughs> that that's where I'm at. Is you know the liability is too high. I feel like we should not do it. Yeah. That that's not saying I can't get more out because I kind of feel like you know if there's enough clear, can it's a tell, chance. Can you tell? I mean, can you see? Well, I mean, I can see that there's a. So when I look at it in the light, I can see that there's a dip there. I can see that there's lots of clear around it. Yeah. Uh, but I don't, and it, I, I can tell you that it doesn't feel like it's through the clear. But again, it takes one rub of the sandpaper to go too deep, and then I can't come back from that. You yeah. only, the only thing you can do to fix it is respray it. Yeah. So, again, if you're willing to handle it and just eat having to repaint it, I'll continue. I don't, I don't have a problem doing that, but as far as me doing it on my own, do you think it needs it here too, or do you think you No, I think it? I can do a lot with that. I think, yeah, it's not as bad. Yeah, I think we're good. I mean, I don't know. Honestly, that, that thing bothers me pretty bad. I don't know if I might go for it. Can you, like, kind of lightly go at it? With the there's, there's no, like, sandpaper. All right, so when you compound, that's like sandpaper, but like a super-duper fine grit. So, for example, if, if I were to have to cut and buff my car, so I've got orange peel all over it, yeah. and now we're wet sanding it down, yeah. that's got plenty of clear coat on it. I know that. This is factory clear. It is a little bit higher quality and, and you know better quality than you know your random General Motors car or whatever. So it's better paint, but it's still going to be only what they need to put on here to protect the underlying paint. Mm -hmm. So it's still thin and it's by an edge. So I mean, the reality is I can. I can see that it's not all that's true. I don't know, it's 50-50. Like, I, I, I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. I am telling you that if I do it, I'm not repainting that. I got you. So if you're, if you're okay with that, I'll... I'll, I'll you just yeah. have to do that one area? Can you do just the one area? Yeah. You don't, yeah, you well, that, that was... I would yeah. have to localize. Yeah. You wouldn't yeah. want to send... Um, I think I would try again now. So so if, if I fuck it up, you're going to paint it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> but I definitely wouldn't wet sand here. I would try to get no, 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 no. I don't. And matter of fact, let me work on that first. Yeah. I think that's fine. Yeah. I don't think I wouldn't worry about that. Um, I, I think that one's lighter there. Yeah, I'll wipe that polish off there. Put more on there anyway. But yeah, it's a lot lighter. They. This was there already. I. I can I, I, see I, that I, they I, tried I feel to. Like I, I feel like my gut's telling me that we can get it. So that's why I'm thinking we go uh, over. Listen, but, I have. Let me tell you about this Bentley I did one time. So this guy pulled it in his garage, he backed it in the garage, itty bitty little, smaller than this garage. I mean, he had two cars in there, but you couldn't even walk between them, it was so big. He pulled, he backed this, it was a Continental GT, nothing super fancy, but still a Bentley. Anyway, backed it in the garage, and he had done it a hundred times before. Shut the garage door, and it, it literally just clicked the front bumper and just scraped the whole thing, and it was bad. In fact, there's a video on it. So if you Google Gary Dean Bentley, yeah. you might be able to watch the video. I got all those scratches out, and that was on a bumper where the paint's even thinner than a regular panel. Right. So you know, again, I had the same deal with him. If I if I fix it, awesome. Right. If I mess it up, right. it's not on me. Right. So so I'm pretty confident in my skills, but there's no way to tell. For example, if I had a paint. Uh, thickness gauge, right. and I could read on carbon fiber right. how thick the paint was, right. it's going to tell me the total number of the the, uh, the primer, the base coat, yeah. the clear coat, right. whatever extra shit they put on there, right. it's going to give you the total thickness. So there's no way to really gauge without spending $10,000 right. for a gauge that will tell you the difference. Right. Um, so you're just going at it blind. So let me do my thing. We'll see how it goes. All right. I'm <laughs> praying. I'm praying to the dear Lord. Me too, because I don't. I don't want to mess it up. I want to fix it. Yeah. Lord.
Have you polished uh, any of these other sides yet, or no? Um, I got all the black trim done, and okay. then I did both uh, uh, running. Any of this should come out? Uh, no, those are, look how gnarly those scratches are. Yeah, some of them around it look better. Oh, everything looks better. Yeah, yeah. There's some nasty gouges in there. Yeah. Did you use the, uh, the heavy? Yeah, I used the infinite cut on that, um, and then also on these pieces. Yeah, um, those look a lot better. Yeah, nice and clear. That looks hell of a lot better. Yeah. See, feel how hot it is. Yeah. Damn. 
That's why I'm going to I'm going to focus on this a little bit more before yeah. I work on that. And yeah. 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 Wet sanding is a last resort when people like you say do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Thank you. 